Unsure how to navigate the complexities of the Python logger module? Welcome to your definitive guide. We'll talk about how to set up log levels, how to create your own filters, how to create your own handlers. We'll talk about the logger hierarchy, and we'll talk about how to set up configuration in a large application. Let's go. Everything starts with the logger object. Let's start by importing the logging module and creating a logger object with the name of the current module. Next, we should understand the concept of log levels. Every logger instance can be assigned a log level. Python knows five of those levels, ranging from debug to critical. If you don't assign a level, Python will use a special log level called not set. We'll talk more about not set later. A log record can be created given a log level and a message. Let's set the log level for this logger to info. If we run this program, we'll see that nothing is printed anywhere. To remedy that, we'll have to talk about a second concept, handlers. A logger can have multiple handlers assigned. By default, it has none. The main purpose of a handler is directing a log record to an output. The most common handler is the stream handler, which prints logs to your console. And secondly, the file handler, which writes logs to a file. You can see that the info log is finally printed to the console and it is visible in the file. A handler is very powerful and allows setting its own log level. Very useful if you want to further discard certain levels for certain handlers. Let's add a critical message to our logger and set the log level for the file handler to critical. If we now run our program, we can see that both of the messages are printed to the console, but only one message is created in the app.log file. Additionally, a handler's output can be customized by setting a formatter. A formatter can be created by adding a formatting string to the logging.formatter class and attaching it to your handler. This can contain normal text and predefined fields, such as time and log level. You can also create a fully custom formatter by extending the logging.formatter class and implementing the format method. This allows you to do whatever you want, such as logging to JSON. Let's add that to our file handler. When we run the program, we can see that our output is nicely formatted and our file contains a JSON format. There's one special built-in handler that is unlike the rest. If and only if a logger has no handlers attached, that is, no handler on itself and any of its ancestors, then the log record is sent to the last resort handler. This is a handler with the output of console, no formatting, and a log level of warning. This is why, without any configuration, Warning logs and up are printed to the console. So if we print this program, we won't see anything. Let's add a log record for each of the log levels. So I'll add warning, error, and critical. And as a bonus, we can also add an exception log, which has the same log level as error. However, apart from just creating a log message, it also contains the stack trace. If we now run this, we'll see that the warning message, the error message, and the critical message are all printed to the console. Additionally, there's the exception message with the stack trace. The third concept is filters. They are similar to log levels in that they can discard unmatched log records, but they are entirely custom. A filter accepts a log record and returns a boolean. You can filter on any conceivable field of the log record. Filters can be made by extending the logging.filter class and implementing the filter method. This simple function checks if the log level has a certain level, similarly to what a log level setting does. Alternatively, you can create a function. For example, this function checks if oops is present in the log message. Can you guess what will be printed to the screen? Not only loggers can have filters. Handlers can also be given filters, making handlers the most versatile concept in Python logging. Let's extend the stream handler to only print messages if this certain string oops is part of the log message.
A larger application will have many modules and many logger instances. The strength of Python logging lies in its hierarchical structure. Logger instances are arranged like a family tree with the root logger at the top. The dot in the name of a logger indicates there's an ancestor relationship. This nicely matches how module hierarchy in Python also works. When a log record is created by a logger, first its level and filters are checked. If both allow the log record to be processed, it is passed to each of its handlers. The handlers also check the log level and filters before directing the record to its configured output. When the logger is fully done with the log record, it passes the record to its parent. This is called propagation. The parent passes it to its handlers and then to its parent. This continues upwards until the log record hits the root logger. Here's a key point though. Log level and filter checks on loggers only happen at the logger that creates the message. Any ancestor, including the root logger, do not recheck these. All handlers will still process all of their log levels and filters. To demonstrate this, we can create a basic parent and a child logger. We'll give them each a different formatter and a different stream handler. This way we can distinguish between the parent and the child. Running this, we can see that the child is processed first, after that the parent. If you do not want your log record to be passed to a parent, you can set propagation to false. This will stop the record propagation to any ancestor. As I mentioned before, there is a special log level called not set. A logger with not set inherits the level of its first ancestor that has a level set explicitly. This allows you to define a default behavior for child loggers without explicitly setting their levels. If there are no ancestors with explicit log levels, the log record will eventually reach the root logger. If the root logger has a level set, it acts as the final gatekeeper, filtering messages based on its level. If the root logger has a not set level, all messages are propagated to its handlers. We can get the root logger by simply not providing a name. Let's also add a normal logger and some log messages. By default, the logger has warning as log level, so only warning logs will be printed, but anything below that won't. When we run this program, we can see that the root logger has level 30, which corresponds to warning, and our logger has level 0, which corresponds to not set. As expected, it only prints the warning message. If we downgrade the root logger to debug, we can see that both messages are printed. So far, we've been configuring loggers one by one. But for complex applications, you might prefer a more organized approach. Using the dictionary config allows you to define a dictionary containing all your loggers configuration, including levels, handlers, and filters. It is a powerful construct for managing your logging setup efficiently. The default syntax requires a dictionary with a config version. After that, we can define formatters. For example, we can make a formatter called default with a certain format. We can add handlers. So let's add a console handler called console and a file handler called file. And thirdly, you can configure your loggers. So the first logger we will add is called my app and uses the file handler. It also has propagate set to false, so it won't propagate to the root logger. The second logger we create is myapp.database and has the console handler attached. Finalizing the configuration means that we have to pass the dictionary to the dict.config method. If we then instantiate our logger called myapp.database, we should see a nicely printed log to the console, courtesy of our myapp.database logger, and a line in the app.log file, courtesy of the myapp logger. Now you should be ready to tackle any simple or complex logging setup you desire. Additionally, you know the flow and the behavior of the logging module, so that you will not be in for any surprises. Happy logging!